Hi, I'm Pam Kesterson and with uh, The Eternal Infinite. I'm the author of Eternal Infinite and I'm uh, coming again on Periscope uh, to bring the ABCs of writing. Today I'm going to continue on with uh, the a word from the letter D. And so the topic today and the word today is actually on difficult topics. So let me know who is out there and I'd love to um, see your name across the, the screen so I can say hi and welcome to this little podcast here or uh, Periscope I should say on writing, writing Periscope. Um, so I would love to uh, have you guys go and check out my replays as well and you can you can see the replays on catch me or I actually think it's catch.me slash Pam Kesterson and so check out uh, the ABCs of writing and uh, anyway let's just continue on today's topic um, and word is difficult topics in writing fiction writing fiction and writing nonfiction both uh, actually, you know, it, it applies to both, but whenever you have a, a difficult topic that you need to really approach, whether that's on some type of trauma or uh, abuse, physical, mental abuse, um, anything having to do with race or sexuality, uh, just any topic that might seem kind of taboo uh, as a writer and something difficult to write both for the writer and it may be difficult to read for the reader as well. So um, anyway, let me know if anybody is out there. I'm still playing around. This is, I have uh, recorded probably under 20 of these periscopes and I am, uh, you know, still figuring it out, everything. So I know people can uh, have their, but I have had some problems with people putting their names or having their names show up on the screen. So if uh, anybody is out there on the live broadcast, please let me know and just go ahead and and uh, let me know that you're there. You can also uh, send this on and pass it on to anybody else that you think would. Uh, that's a writer that uh, wants to start writing and they may be interested in watching the replay as well. Okay, I'm going to continue here. So the question I really wanted to, you know, ask everybody out there is um, how do they really manage manage a difficult topic uh, when they're when they're writing. Uh, oh, I also wanted to maybe just give you the definition of difficult. Um, we all know what difficult is, but in the Webster, I'm just going to read a little blurb from that, so I'll start there. And so difficult uh, definition is hard to do or be done. It's arduous. Um, continues on uh, saying that it's hard to understand and maybe perplexing, hard to persuade or overcome. Uh, stubbornness is in there too. <laughs> Hard to please, uh, difficult to satisfy, which kind of brings up another topic. It's difficult to satisfy everybody in your writing and so you just have to approach it uh, with, as you're writing something difficult, just get it down on paper, get it down uh, on the computer and you can always edit out. You can always push the delete button if it's something that you don't want to end up in the final draft. But when you're writing some something the, in the first draft, just get it down and then you can work with the wording, you can work with um, how much to say, how much not to say. You know, I just finished this great book uh, and it was called Little Big Boy and the author is Max Power and it was a powerful book. It, coming from a little boy's perspective, uh, the little boy was, oh, from the age six to eight and he just had a very difficult life. The book was written almost like a memoir. I thought it was. I had to go back several times and, and make sure it wasn't. Um, 
because it was, it, but it was just a slice of time out of a couple of years of this little boy's life. A uh, fictional book, he approached it uh, in just with wonderful writing and with humor mixed in with very difficult topics and a difficult life. And kudos to the writer. And so when an author can can really, uh, you know, show uh, difficult topics in in the approach, then that's just really what we want to do. Um, but a lot of memoirs are also written in the same fashion. Of course, they're true stories, and a lot of them are on difficult topics, difficult lives that people have led. So things are definitely written out there on um, difficult topics altogether. And But I wanted to also, uh, you know, if something is haunting the, the writer uh, and it's a topic that just is screaming to come out, that's one um, way to certainly put it in fiction or in nonfiction for sure. But a lot of times, as a story develops, you don't even know that a difficult topic is just around the corner. Uh, but it's just how things kind of progress if it's needed in the story. Say, like just a fictional story to move the plot forward. Uh, so that's how uh, di difficult topics kind of end up in a story many, many times. I don't know if anybody out there has ever had that happen, and it depends probably if you are a, an outliner or if you're a pantser like uh, I am in my writing where you really don't know where the story is going to take you. Uh, it just organically happens. So a lot of um, approaching a difficult topic is going to uh, come in how you, you know, do your research and come about with um, one uh, area might lead to another as far as as you're researching out oh a certain topic like I don't know alcoholism or, or what have you so and the story develops from there whatever the difficult topic is I would say if it helps move the story forward then get it get it down and like I said you can always uh, delete it and and almost have it be like just just um, I don't know how to how to say it. Just get it down and don't let anybody look over your shoulder or be concerned about what other people are going to think. You can always edit later. So, um, but in the end, you know, when you're dealing with a difficult topic, um, it's eye opening and it's really a way to reflect on the real world. I mean, we live in a real world, and you want your characters to be authentic, you want them to be believable. And with that, I am going to end on keeping your writing real. And, and uh, if it's realistic, then people will, will read it, even if it's difficult, even if it goes there. And you can always um, really have some really good writing uh, and humor involved and where it's applicable in just different ways to make something difficult very doable. So I am signing off for today. So thank you for joining me. I think you're going to have to catch the replay. And I would love it uh, for you to let everybody know to go on to catch me, and that's spelled K-A-T-C-H dot me, M-E, <laughs> slash Pam Kesterson. And I am the author of Eternal Infinite uh, and all the books in the in the Infinite series. Uh, I I guess have uh, written about some difficult topics too, especially in book two. But anyway, I'm signing off for now. I'll see you all later next time. Okay.